Big Bad Son Daddy. What up? We here. Why are we here? We here to talk about the Scuf Pro wireless controller for the PC. Is it good or is it not? I don't know. I'm loving it, so I guess it's good enough to me. That's all that matters. Why am I making this video? To let you know what I think about the controller. Should you buy it or should you not? That's completely up to you. I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money. But say I'm gonna give you two things that I don't like about it, and then I'll tell you why I do like the controller itself. What I don't like is the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks are very smooth to me, very smooth. Coming from an elite controller where the thumbsticks are really groovy and really sticky, these feel better than these on this controller here. That's why I have these thumb grips on here. I got action now. I can work with it. I could do something because these thumb grips help your brother out. The paddles on the back. I do like the paddles, but then I don't like the paddles because they're inside the controller. That That's a different hold to me. That's a different feel. My brain and my body still trying to adjust to trying to push them because I do play with all four paddles and I play with four fingers at the same time. I can't do it any other way. Coming from paddles here on the Elite where the paddles are an attachment and they stick out, it's easy to get to them. It's easy to press them. They're really easy to press. That's what I do like about this controller versus the scuff. Now what I do like about the controller is that the hold of it itself is really nice. I haven't had a controller where the thumbsticks sit close together like this since the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I know. I just aged myself. I, I'm, I'm that old. You know what I mean? PlayStation 2. But coming back to it right now, it's a good feeling. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm still adjusting, though. I've only had the controller for about two weeks now. So I'm still adjusting to the new button layout that I'm running and the hold of it, the feel of it, and everything. But the feel of it is great, though. I mean, the way it sits in your hands is pretty nice. The feel of the buttons, they're really responsive because they're all mechanical. I mean, you got 25 buttons on this thing, 25. The buttons on the side, that's game changing right there. Not to mention you got buttons at the bottom of the controller. I'm not even using those for anything. It's just too many, but I am using the buttons on the side though, or at least one of them at least, you know what I mean? So the buttons are mechanical. Great response with the buttons. Even though I'm running it wireless, really good response. As you can see, pushing that button there, it's not very far to go. Coming from an Xbox controller when I push it, that's that's a big difference. You know what I mean? Even that little bit could determine you getting your ass whipped in a fight or not, or surviving, you know? So the button response is very nice. And speaking of button response, the thing I like about this controller more than anything is the fact that I can drop my dead zone with this controller all the way down to as low as I needed to go. And that's big because when I drop my dead zone down in the software for the Xbox controller and the game that I normally play, which is Destiny 2, this controller would start to have stick drift. I don't know why, that's just what would happen. It will start to stick drift. So I had to up my uh, sensitivity for the dead zone so that way it would stop the controller from drifting. When I did that with the scuff, if I had my dead zone down to where I have it right here is at 3%. And in the game of Destiny 2, I have my dead zone at 0.01%. I get no stick drift. It doesn't drift at all, at all, which is lovely. So that means the moment that I want to turn left and right, it's going to respond and do so with no delay, with no delay. That's amazing. And honestly, that almost gives me the feeling of a mouse in the palm of my hands, because we all know that mouse is, is flip. You can flick your wrist and you out of there. You can turn, you know? That's what this controller gives me. And that's what I enjoy more than anything is the responsiveness of the controller. When you want to do something, it does it. If we go down to my triggers, same thing. The triggers, let's talk about the triggers. The triggers are dope. I have mine set to the hair trigger. You can adjust it and you can set it to where you have a full pull or you can have the hair trigger. As we all, you know, do a lot of shooters, the hair trigger is where we're probably gonna all sit at, no doubt about it. You can set the dead zone of the triggers. I have mine set to 4% on the controller and that's mainly because if you set it to zero or at least as far as what I've had the experience with when I set it to zero, if I rest my fingers on the controller while running, doing whatever, the slightest touch 
will cause me to start aiming my gun. And if I'm trying to run away so I can go recover from a fight and I get shot in the ass, yeah, that ain't good. That we, we don't want that, you know what I mean? We don't want to be running and then all of a sudden you slightly touch a button and you start to pull up trying to aim your gun and there's nobody in front of you, foul something bit me you know what i mean we don't want that to happen so i had to up mine to 0.4 percent and it's pretty good i can rest my fingers on the triggers without any problem let's talk about the button mapping on the controller me personally i never use any of these buttons here my thumbs never leave the thumbsticks i like to try and keep them on the thumbsticks at all times so with that being said I map out all these buttons to either the back paddles or the side or whatever I may need them. I just get them. These here are just never used. I could actually disable them and be okay. But the mapping of the controller and the software is pretty much the same as if you was to have a elite controller. You know, of course, the software is going to be different from this software here, but you would do it the same. I took my whole layout that I had here and I just inputted it into this software here. And therefore it's the default for this controller right now, because this is the only game I'm playing, which is Destiny 2. So the button layout, very nice. I like to have it a certain way. So that way I can don't, like I said, have to let my thumbs leave the thumbsticks. And the thing that sets this apart is I could actually take my keys and have those to be mapped out for this controller. I could have keyboard keys mapped out on the controller game changer we already know that 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 changes up a lot of mess but those of you that know on pc you ain't got to say nothing for those of you that are on console and do not know uh, well we all know on a controller on console you have to use a button most of the time as far as default you have to use one button to do maybe two things let's take the you know the crouch crouch will probably be one button and then you'd have to hold that crouch button down to activate an ability well, with this controller, you don't have to do that. You could actually have it to be mapped out, one to be crouch and one to use an ability if you wanted to. That's pretty goddamn dope, man. I love that about this controller here. I really do. It's pretty nice. Do I do that? Nah, I keep it the same as what it is over here. You know what I mean? I keep it the same right now. So, like I say, it's very responsive. The controller itself is very responsive. Is it worth buying? I don't know. I ain't gonna tell you how to spend your money, like I said, but I'm enjoying every bit of it. And I think you would too. The software of it is really good now. I did look at reviews before I had bought the controller. The software everybody talked about was just trash. It was, it was horrible. They all love the controller. They said it was nice, but they were having problems with the software. Since I've gotten it for the past two weeks, there was an update that was put out, the firmware that was put out and it's been working pretty solid so far. So I hope they keep the updates going to where it doesn't go and begin to be trash on me and we'll see how it goes. But thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was really good to you and um, it will let you know if you wanna try it out or not. Anyway, y'all have a good day, man. Peace out.